everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany and we are going to be painting in the Hobonichi Weeks. This is my spread from last week. If you haven't seen it already, I will put it up in the icon above. And today I am painting an image of a house in the woods and I thought that this would be a great addition to add for this week because if you haven't noticed already, I am doing a fall type of theme here for the month of September and I started off with week one of September drawing a leaf with some gold uh, Colero paints and then last week which was the pretty little fox in the uh, pocket and then now the outdoor house in the woods with the changing of the leaves for the fall season. Now this week I am going to somewhat try to explain what I'm doing as I didn't get a chance to do it last week and so I started off by popping on some color in the background and the background is going to be representing the autumn leaves and changing of the season so I focused on making sure to add those reds and oranges and yellows and these are actually some of the colors that I used from last week in making the fox in the pocket. Then I focused on making the house a little bit more detailed and the main color for painting the house is indigo and another shade of blue which I will put in the link uh, or in the description box below because I can't remember off the top of my head. But one of the issues I have with painting that I am trying to get better at is trying to start off with light shades of color and then adding darker shades as I move along in the piece and I think I have successfully done that. Um, right now I am adding some trees in the background and on the top I focused on mainly using reds and oranges whereas on the bottom I use a darker shade and that's to give the illusion that the trees are closer to you um, than the ones in the background behind the house. So now I am adding some more detail to the top of the house and I will show you close-ups at the end of the video. Then I'm using my white Signo ballpoint to add a little bit of some highlights in the windows. And then I wanted to go over a little bit with the shading um, with my black pen. So here's a close-up. Next, we are jumping into the actual planning portion. Here on the screen, you see some new stickers I have recently posted in my Etsy shop. And these are actually faces of the Apple Watch. And I thought that these would be a cool addition to my shop to be able to add appointments or any notes that you need to add in your Hobonichi Weeks. And they fit really nicely within the boxes and they even fit on the monthly boxes of the Hobonichi Weeks and in the Hobonichi Techo. So check those out if you're interested. I decided to use one of my vinyl feathers that I've made into stickers and I'm using the orange one to put on the top of the right side of the page and then I'm going to write on top of it with some brush script. On the left side of the page I'm going to be using my Etsy stickers to plan how I normally would and then the spread will be completed. So I hope you guys really enjoy watching this type of videos. This is something new I started. I didn't even announce it. I just went ahead and did it. And I got a lot of good feedback from the very first week. I have really been enjoying this process because I have multiple planners that I'm using at the same time. I think it's a little bit boring in my opinion to be planning the exact same thing in all of my planners. So to be able to add some color and have some fun with different techniques always makes it so much more enjoyable. So please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!